Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about main beer and license plate icons. Um, so if you had to guess, like you had to choose the most iconic main beer, what would it be? Any guesses? Anybody? So I don't know what you guessed, but chances are you guessed Allagash White. Um, Allagash is one of the, uh, well, one of the largest main breweries and also one of the oldest. Uh, back in the day, it was just, uh, it was Shipyard and Geary's and uh, Gritty's and Allagash, um, you know, back in the 90s. A lot of these new breweries, they, you know, 2010 is considered old for, for the, you know, latest round of breweries. So these guys were around uh, 95 they started up in Portland so they've been around a while and chances are if you're watching this somewhere in the United States you've heard of Allagash White um, so it's a it's the the iconic main beer and I thought um, it's been a while since I've had it I can talk about that in a minute but um, I figured do an episode um, so the pint glass um, my last episode I dedicated to, um, you know, people who have, you know, battled cancer and, and, uh, and come out on the other side and, and family members of those who weren't as fortunate. And <clears throat> there was a reason for that. Um, a friend of mine was, you know, kind of at the end of his battle with, uh, with cancer and at, and this last week, um, he finally lost it. So today's pint glass is from the Great Lost Bear in Portland, Maine. It's a restaurant, serves a ton of different beer, good food. Um, used to enjoy hanging out there with him. Um, and as it, appropriately, he actually gave me this pint glass. So it's perfect. Um, so that's the pint glass. Um, and we're going to, oh, wait, hold on. So on the on the bottom of this, upside down, if you can read this, rouse your yeast. I can't read it in my own screen, so. Uh, your curiosity just paid off. With the can bottom up, gently swirl to enrich the beer's flavor. Flip open and enjoy. So we're going to swirl it. Um, so the thing about Allagash White, it's, um, it's a Belgian-style wheat beer made with wheat instead of barley, either totally or largely. I think it's totally. Um, so, oh boy, we got some foam. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a tall can. Um, I didn't want to commit to a, <laughs> a whole six pack. Um, with apologies to my <laughs> apologies to my friend who gave me this pint glass, um, I'm actually just not a fan of wheat beers in general. It has nothing to do with Allagash. It is literally just this one style of beer. I know everybody. You probably get sick of me every week. Yeah, this is good beer. This is good beer. Now, wheat beer is not really my thing. It's really it's one of the only types of beer that I just I kind of avoid. But this is iconic. So, slancha. I mean, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's not a stout, but I mean, I like beers other than stout. So it's, uh, it's very light, very cloudy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something about the wheat. I don't know. It's not like it's bad. Allagash makes great beer. Um, this is 5.2% alcohol. So, you know. It's an easy, uh, easy going kind of thing. Uh, brew with coriander and curacao orange peel. Citrus forward, hazy and refreshing. That's what it says right on the can. So I'll take their word for it. Um, I can see why people would think this is refreshing. It's just not really, you know. No. Mm. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so the license plate, the iconic license plate. If Maine had an iconic license plate, 
Uh, they're actually not all that many to choose from because most main plates over the years have been pretty boring. Um, let me think about this. There have only been two uh, graphic base plates in the state of Maine. And um, this was the first one right here. The original lobster plate. Maine offers an extra cost optional plate with, uh, with a lobster on it, but this was the first one. This went to everybody. Um, they started issuing these back in 1987, issued them until July, or well, through June of 1999. So, and you've heard me say I'm not really a vanity plate guy. This was actually a gift to me from friends of mine in high school. Um, kind of, I guess friendship is really another theme of this episode besides uh, main icons. Um, yeah, this, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a big Jeep Wagoneer kind of like this one right here. This hat, another gift from a friend of mine who knows the connection. But anyway, my wagon here was officially known as the Heat. It had been wrecked twice. Only once was my fault. Um, and uh, it was, you know, early 80s Jeep product. So not known for its reliability, but it was, you know, in the wintertime it was cold because it was massive with little heating vents, you know, so, but it was fun. And also in itself, iconic, really. Um, so, yeah, that's the deal with this plate. Um, another cool thing about this plate is that this was an early... Um, they started issuing these in 87. And I got this as actually a Christmas present in 1987. So it was an early one. Some of the early plates have a green painted back. Call them greenbacks. Um, and I'm not sure why some of them were painted. It's just the... Just the way the aluminum came in, I guess. Most of them were just plain silver, unpainted aluminum. But um, an undetermined number of these early plates had a green back. So there you go. And that's that. So, yeah. Great Lost Bear. If you're in Portland, check it out. It's a cool place. And that's it for today. If you haven't subscribed... Like I always say, it doesn't cost anything, so go ahead and do that. Um, if I get 100 subscribers, I get uh, I get my custom URL, which is, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Be safe out there, and um, we'll see you next time.